Hello, uh, welcome to my first Lost Caverns of Ixalan uh, draft. Today I'm going to be starting the format. I'm starting the format off, um, and uh, I'm just going to get right into it. We're just going to I'm just going to jam. Um, so early stuff that I've been hearing from people that have played the pre-release, I'm uh, not uh, not so fortunate as to have access to that uh, pre-releases. I didn't play pre-release this time or the early access event. Um, I did not get to do either of those things. Um, what I've heard is, you know, we're, we're in potentially just guy, you know, territory. Um, my own personal views from the set review, I believed, like, red, like, those, that was sort of matches what I believed. I thought the color ordering would have been, like, blue-red as the best two colors, and then white up there. Um, green, of course, has some good uncommons and stuff. So I think the best card in this pack is probably Dreadmaw's Ire. Um, Dreadmaw's Ire... Really good combat trick, cheap. It's red. Um, mine card looks pretty good. This card, this like the uh, first of all, this rare. It's large. It's seven mana, but you really don't need um, seven mana collisions. Like, I, to be honest with you, I kind of want to just take the the big, you know, thing. You really don't need big stuff in this format. Like, you have a bunch of craft and stuff. Like, I, this card is like bad. I think. It's, like, I rated it highly in my like my set review, but from what I've heard. For other people, this card seems uh, like it's probably just a little too slow. Um, so yeah, Dread Mozart is probably the best card. Tinker's Tote has looked pretty good, potentially. Not super interested in this card. The Mine Cart, another option. Um, I'm just going to take the big dude. Uh, it is colorless. Ah, man, I really want to take Dread Mozart. I really want to take it. I want to do it. I want to do it so bad. I want to do it. I want to take Dread Mozart. I'm taking Dread Mozart. I can't be helped. I really just can't be helped. I'm I'm truly lost. I'll I'll never be able to, to come back. Um, this is interesting. Uh, not anything I'm super interested in here. To be honest with you, this pack doesn't seem especially great. There's this card which you'd never get to transform because it you know requires too much for you. There's a cave card. Defossilize. Shipwreck Sentry seems kind of okay. Blue is color I want to be in. I'm not interested in this. Maybe I should just take Cartographer's Companion. I don't. I really don't like any of this. I really just don't. Maybe I just. I mean, Shipwreck Sentry seems. It seems really aggressive to be taking a Shipwreck Sentry this high. But like, I mean, is that where we are? Is this the is this the location that we find ourselves here? Like, this card is not great. Maybe I'll just take it. I don't know. I mean, this thing might just wheel anyways. It's early enough in the format. This is bad. Green, I'm just avoiding green like the plague. The Sunbird Standard, if I had taken the other rare, maybe. But the multicolored stuff I'm not super interested in doing. Sure, let's take the let's take the, the, the blue card. Um, when possible. So there's Tithing Blade here, people like that card. This card's interesting. Um, there's also just Oaken Siren. Uh, which I think is what I'm going to take because it allows you to cast artifact stuff and it's like a blue, like two mana dork guy. Um, the Wander Glyph is kind of interesting. Maybe I should just take the Wander Glyph because it does work with the Dread Mo I think it's a red card for that. Dynamo. Dyna I can't, I'm not going to be able to ever pronounce this card. It's just never going to happen. Eden by Piranhas is just probably fine and I may regret not taking it. I'm just not super tied to blue because this card doesn't seem super great. I kind of want to just take one of these two drops. Or this other artifact. The Hidden Volcano is like okay, I'm just not super interested in it. I th think... Hmm. So if we want to go Dreadmaw's Ire... Ah, I kind of want to just take the red card. But this card like allows you to do like Vigilance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Oaken Siren. I'm gonna try it out. We're gonna see how it goes. Ooh, uh, Tali's Favor. This card seems very good. Um, other cards that seem kind of interesting here, like Fanatical Offering seems kind of good in this format. This guy, I don't know, I kind of like this guy. Not a whole lot of stuff, I mean I haven't heard very good things about the, the black cards in this format. Um, so we're just going to take the Atali's Favor here, just getting to discover three, try it out, you know, see how it goes. We're doing, we're starting off in blue-red. Again, I, I kind of came into this draft being like blue-red is sort of the deck that I want to draft. Just as the deck that, oh wow, Ooh, this is a pack. This pack has some stuff. So this this card, um, I think is very good potentially. 
I have concerns, like, have I already committed, like, the, I've also heard good things about the torch, though, right? So, like, I've heard good things about this card, I've heard good things about, like, this card, obviously, this card just looks great. So, I think I'm between this torch and, uh, the Master's Guide Mural. Again, I've heard, like, the torch, like, it doesn't look great, and it doesn't really seem like my type of, like, card. But, uh, I mean, maybe I'll just take the mural and just see, see if blue-white seems open. Um... Like, again, I have heard, like, blue-white is a good color pair. The torch, again, seems pretty good with what I want to do. But these blue cards work really well with the Master's Guide Mural, actually, because there's, like, this card and this, like, these both play well with it. I mean, like, all right. <laughs> all right, here I am. So there's another torch. I may come to regret not taking these torches, but I, I like this card. I'm going to take Confounding Riddle. Um, I rated it very highly. It may end up being actual garbage, but I'm, I'm going to take it like it's good. Um, I'm passing all these torches and, like, hating myself for doing it. Like, I know this is wrong, but here we are. <laughs> here we are, you know, taking the, taking blue cards. What can I say, you know? I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a slave to the, uh, to the, to the blue, to the blue cards. These, these type of, like, first drafts always tend to age pretty poorly for me. I tend to, you know, not have, like, I kind of get lost. <laughs> Um, early in the format, so it's it's good to, that's why I'm playing on, like, not my main account. <laughs> Ooh, interesting pick here. Um, I think I'm gonna take Oak and Siren again, over Atali's favor. Um, because it's an artifact, and also is a two-drop, and I also might be playing blue-white. So, Atali's favor is probably very good, though. Um, this card seems okay, I don't know, I just, I kind of just like... Like, this thing, just, like, being able to activate, like, pat taps for blue mana, and it has flying and vigilance and is an artifact. Like, for this, like, this Master's Guide mural, which, is like, if you have these type of cards, seems, like, even better. And it does, uh, it does seem good. Like, I've heard good things about it. Alright, I'm gonna gem the Cartographer's Companion here. I could even take Sage of Days. Um. This is just an artifact, though, that makes a map token. We're gonna try it out. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if it's if it's decent. If it's decent, then you know we have a colorless card that's like actually good. Very rare. If that's actually the case, but you know it makes two two tokens when it enters the battlefield. Oh, wow. I'm gonna take the dyno dynamic. Dy it's not. It's not pronounceable. It simply is not able to be pronounced. So this is the wheel pack. Um, red card came back. No blue cards coming back. Uh, a couple of green cards. Fanatical Offering comes back. I'm going to just take the, this card, though. So Sunbird Standard is kind of interesting. There's not really anything else I want in this pack. Like, this card's like, okay. It's not very good, I don't think. It's just too expensive. It's also not an artifact. I'm going to take the Sunbird Standard. I don't think it's great or anything, but... Like, alright, well, here's here's a good time to take a Hidden Volcano, I think. Um, this card, I think, is just too expansive. Acrobatic Leap is a decent card. I'm not 100% sure if I'm, like, playing this or, like, splashing it or what the deal is. Could certainly end up in that camp. Um, yeah, again, I don't think I'm, like, super... Like, white doesn't seem, like, super, super... I mean, there's these two white cards. Like, is, is white open? I don't know. Unclear. I'm gonna just take the land. Because if I do play white, it's probably good. It is a cave. I don't know. It is a cave. I don't know. I'll take out of air, but I don't have a lot of, like, this card seems awful. This card at least has, like, a chance. I just have a question of, am I going to be able to play enough blue cards? Ooh, Puzzle Door came back, that's nice. It's a nice little card. My Leap also came back, hold on. Ooh. Fun rare, fun blue rare. Okay, so this is, like, an artifact under the battlefield, and you control this turn, like, the top two cards, put one in your hand, and the other in your graveyard. I'm going to take this card. I think the pickaxe might genuinely be better. Uh, the pickaxe is really good, I think. But I am just going to take a call a call here, um, because, I mean, if the pickaxe wheel's great, if it doesn't, that's okay. Um, oh, my mouse just died, I don't know what the hell happened with that, but I'm going to take this hope to wheel like, I don't know, something. I'm sure something will come back, surely. Um, I still could be red or white here, for sure. If I am red, I'm going to regret passing those torches that I passed early on. But, like, the, this shipwreck sentry is just looking like it's going to trigger so often, right? Like, I don't know. I don't think I love that. I mean, this this is obviously should never be going, like, last pick, really. Like, unless nobody at the table is drafting white. Um, okay, this is interesting. So we have... 
Two decent white cards. Oh, there's no braid. I'm gonna just take a braid. <laughs> Braid's really good. Gotta get used to just seeing an abraid and being like, mm, snap it up. Like, this card's okay, I think. Um, this card's also okay, but I'm just gonna take braid. Because it's very good. It's a very good card. So I may not get to play this guide mural. And that's okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry myself to sleep about not getting to play the guide mural. Mm, like I'm not super interested in this Sunbird standard, but it's it's in the deck. Oh, there it is, and there it is. Ooh, look at this pack. This pack has some unbelievable cards. So there's this card for blue red with which is like basically you don't really need pirates. Like this thing is a pirate, which is great because you can put the counter. Like it does both. But this card's just so good. Like um. This card is probably Booze Bless Common, Waterwind Scout, like it makes a map token, which is an artifact, and then this card's also good, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna take Captain Storm here. And we're just I think we're just we're just all in at this at this juncture. Um This actually works with uh you can go this into this. It's like good. I'm gonna try the shipwreck sentry out, I think. Let's see how it goes here. Uh, out of air is probably not gonna make it here. It's not our second second hit the mother load of the draft. Um, lol. Puzzle door versus this thing, I think. So Duskrow's Well Aquary is decent, but it is... I think we're just gonna take the Puzzle door. I don't have any dinosaurs. This is a decent green card, but green. Omega lol. Um, this is probably fine. It's Descend now. It just says Descend on it, so it's bad, probably. I'll just take the Puzzle door and move on with my life. Cogwork? Cogwork guy? So the Clayfire Bricks is actually probably really good. Um, yeah. Just cuz, but I think Cogwork can do some stuff in this style of deck, so we're just gonna take the Cogwork guy. A uh, torch here. So there's another Tully's favor, but I do want to try out the torch. And it is an artifact for my artifact deck. Which is nice. So we'll take the torch. Um, I don't think I'm playing this. I'd have to get like a ridiculous amount of treasure sources, which I don't think is gonna happen. Ooh, Plundering Pirate though is a treasure source. Um and it's also a pirate for this guy, so. Liking this start. I'm liking this start. Looks pretty good to me. Unlucky drop. Okay, so this is actually interesting. So there's another one of these, these guys. I kind of am interested in these guys. I am just gonna take unlucky drop, I think, though. The problem is one for one removal seems really awful in this set. Like, cause there's just so many like trinkety stuff that just like makes a bunch of things. This card seems terrible and I just don't want it. So maybe I'll take another Cartographer's Companion. It does make two artifacts. This is probably the best card. Iron Paw Esper is like really good, but I think we're just all in on the blue red at this stage. Because we're all in on blue red lifestyle. Um, the thing about this card is it's kind of like a controly card, and then like I have this like guide mural. So like, do I actually want to be playing like a slower game? But probably not, because my deck is like all this low curve stuff. Ancestor's Aid. Let's try out Ancestor's Aid. It's got, it's the uh, combat trick that gives you a treasure token, but plus two plus seven for a strike, which I think is pretty good. Now, I don't have a ton of creatures at the moment, especially like cheap, cheap stuff, but um, I'll take Relic's Roar. This could be kind of interesting. The problem is this isn't really an aggro card. It's more of a defensive card. This is probably the best card in here. There is like some white flowing in this direction here. Don't love this. It does add to me, but the problem is this cr this has to craft. I'm gonna take Relic's Roar. The problem is this has to like craft too for like even more blue and white mana, so I think I'm kind of just off it. Tolly's Favor here. I think this is probably just good. Um, especially when you put it on like a flyer or something, like just uh, being able to discover. Now again, the Discover 3 makes these like one drops like worse, like it makes Relic Roar specifically a lot worse. Um, but uh, we'll see, we will see how things turn out here. I have concerns, obviously. <laughs> I do with like all my decks. This card, I don't know. This card just seems like it's cracked in this deck. All right, fine. I'll take it the mother load for the uh, for the sideboard. <laughs> also, I have concerns about playing a tap land in my aggro deck, but like discover four may not just be just may not be worth playing this because like it's six mana essentially to draw a card. It's not. It's just not really doing it for me. 
um, this style of deck, so I, I may just put that, put that in the sideboard. So, I think the best card in my deck right now is probably this card, Captain Storm. Like, look at all the artifacts that I'm generating here, it's just tons of them. Um, so I, I am interested in how things go in this pack three. Ooh, nice little two drop. So Iceberg wouldn't be bad here. I think Iceberg would be pretty good. I hope it comes back. I don't think that it will. Uh, but this is just like a nice two mana, two one flyer flash. You can, like that's just a good card in limited. And like any kind of augmentation that you can put on it, it is great. So I'm just gonna take it. That's that's about it. That's the whole joke. So you know, two mana spell, good. I do think I kind of want like some like craft cards. I don't have like anything that crafts really, which is kind of bad. I don't think I want this card in my deck, if possible. The reason would be that. Ooh, Nautilus. There's also this card. I think I want the Nautilus though, because the Nautilus is an artifact. Um, River Herald Scout is really good. I think this is good too. Um, tapped creature and you can make a map token. I think this is actually really strong, but I think the Nautilus is just another two drop. One of the blue cards may come back. Um, that would be nice. I'm not going to deny that that would be nice. I would like that. I would be rather fond of that. Hmm. I do have tons and tons and tons of artifacts. I have ten artifacts already. And I also have this which makes an artifact, so... These are pirates. There's a surprising number of pirates in this deck. Like, how, how many pirates do I have? Six? That's a lot, actually. Kind of surprised that that's... Ah! Mouse, you need to you need to stop. You need to stop maneuvering. Right, here, I think I'm just going to take this card. It's not an artifact, but it is just really strong. So, it explores onto... Dowsing Device. Um, I just don't think this is that great. Like, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. It only gives, like, plus one, plus one to haste to one thing. Um, I know this is not an artifact, but it is just a very strong card, so we'll just take it. I think it's better than Dynamaton. Dyna Dynatomaton. Dyna Dynatomaton. There we go. Someday I'll be able to pronounce it. I don't think it's today. Ooh, wow, this is a... Wow, this pick is really... Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, well, there's a boat. So obviously I'm taking the boat, but, um, cause it's a boat. You have to take the boat. How am I crewing the boat? That's, but I, we don't, don't worry. No, that's not, that doesn't matter. I don't think the boat's the best card here. I think Waterman Scout is probably the best card here. This pack is really good for me. I wish I could just take this pack. Like if I could just take this pack and be done with the draft, that's what I'd do. This card is a boat. You have to take the boat. Um, that's the rules. It has crew three. I don't love that, but it's a boat. So, you know what? We're taking it. Fight me. Boat time. Um, and now we get this pack, which is just nothing. For me, this card's not very good. Um, I guess I could take the Island Cycler. It's so exp like Seven mana is just too much mana, though, is the problem, and I don't really care. So maybe I'll just take something else. I don't... Maybe I'll just rare draft. <laughs> so how bad is it to rare draft on day one of the format? Is this on my account that doesn't ever get to set completion? It's pretty. It sounds pretty bad, huh? It sound, doesn't sound great. Fine. Boat time. Um. All right. So let's cut the volcano. I don't think I want it. Tapland is just too bad here. Oh, there it is. There it is. So this card versus the brackish plunger. I think I have enough interaction that I'm probably going to be okay. Uh, we shall see though. Maybe I don't have like that much. Eh, I'm gonna just take the better card that I think is better, which is this card. I do have two combat tricks too. Like that's like a thing that that does matter. This is kind of interacty stuff. I'm not playing this. Uh, what else am I cutting? So I'm down to 24. I do want to try at least one of these out to see how they feel. The puzzle door seems kind of good. Let's just say it again. I kind of want to just try some stuff out. The only two artifact to like synergy cards I have are. Call and Captain Storm. The rest of it's just kind of like chilling. Um, ooh, ooh, okay, and we'll take Sahili's Lattice. Um, this type of card always is pretty good. Now, I do need dinosaurs. I have this card and I have no other dinosaurs, but that's fine. 
I don't really need to craft it. It's just kind of an artifact that you can use to do stuff with later in the game. So I think I'll keep that. And then I'll cut a, cut a, cut a puzzle dwarf for that for sure. I'll cut one of these. So that's where we're at right now. Okay, this card's probably good, so we'll take this. It is better in defensive decks. Um, no red cards, notably. Look at my number of two drops. Don't you look at my two drops. They're the only ones I got. I'm just kind of taking like the artifact stuff and like the stuff that matters at the moment. To round out my draft, looking over what I want to play here. Hmm. <laughs> An automaton. Um, I kind of want to just cut Ancestor's Aid. Because, like, what is it realistically giving first strike to? A lot of my stuff has flying, actually. I'll just cut this Cogwork Wrestler. Eh, I love that. Do we just play 16 lands? Seems like a bad idea, given that I have, like, this card, and I have... It is the only craft card in my deck, which is unfortunate. Don't you look at my cards. I don't know how I'm crewing this boat. I genuinely have no idea how I'm crewing this boat. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's like the... Oh, wow, Iceberg's here. I definitely want Iceberg, I think, over Atali's favor. Right, Iceberg's good, man. Because Iceberg is an artifact that triggers stuff. this. I don't think I want this, but maybe I want it. Hmm. Now we gotta do some cutting. Gotta do some, I really want to, like, the problem is when you have decks like this, you really want to just, like, try stuff out. Just be like, ooh, what, what's good? What's not good? Um. What works? What doesn't work? I think I'm gonna just cut another Cartographer's Companion, because I do think... I'll, I'll have other, plenty of time to try it out later. Um... I wish I had more of, like, these four drops, but... Let me just cut a land. Maybe I'll just be... I do have two Oaken Sirens. Maybe I'll just be a Degenerate and cut a land. Even though it's definitely wrong. What's my 1511? Yeah, I should probably be like this. Ah, uh, it's totally wrong to cut a land, isn't it? I mean, my curve stops at four, and I can, like, be done at three. And I have, like, two of these, and I have, like, whatever. But I also have this, like, craft stuff. Is Cogwork Wrestler really better than, like... Is a land really better, worse than Cogwork Wrestler? Or Ancestor's Aid? Is Ancestor's Aid really worse than, like, a land? If I put the blue back... Like, just for color requirements alone, I kind of need the blue, don't I? I really don't want to cut this. It seems good. I really don't want to cut this because I want to try it. Also, I have a ton of artifacks. <sighs> Pause this while I figure this out. Ah, or my computer's just not gonna let me. All right, I cut ancestors' aid. We'll see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put it back in. But we go, we go. We're getting we're into the format. We're queuing. Things are going. Um, yeah. So this is like kind of where I expected to end up. I'm not gonna deny it. This is I was expecting to be drafting blue red um, as my first deck because that just is kind of like generally a thing that makes sense. I don't actually love this hand. Like, I have a... Br I'm going to keep it, but I don't love this hand. It's very reactive. Because, um, like... I don't know. Okay, I have a braid, but I'm not doing... I mean, it's, I don't think this is a mulligan, but oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Two-lander on the play. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay, if they made a 1-1, one -one, that's true. Um... Okay, so now I can go, like, Mountain, a Call, a Call. They can probably maybe remove it. Not that worried about it. Because, I mean, I don't actually have anything that works that works with right now in my hand. 
Might of the Ancestors. Uh, okay, I don't care about that at all. Ooh, oh, here, here we go. The boat. Let's go get the boat going. All right, so I need, I'm gonna probably just grab, so this is actually pretty tough. Do I want a second blue or do I want an artifact? Card to trigger my stuff, I th think. Oh man. Ugh. Does this never, does this only do, it's only tapped creatures that give me the trigger for this. That is unfortunate. That is highly unfortunate. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Technically, this does the same thing, truly. I'm much more likely to draw a blue source. Ah, tough call. I'm going to take the Oaken Siren. Maybe that's just stupid. But I am just going to. It's very greedy. Like, it's a greedy maneuver, potentially. So this, like, gives stuff vigilance. Like, I'm going to be taking a little bit of damage here. I'm not, like, that worried about it. At some point, I'm just going to. Like, I can just play this, and then, like, if you can just block the next turn, which is decent. Um, I don't care about that at all. We drew the land anyway, because I'm just better. I'm simply just a good at gaming. Um, do I want to just kill that? Yeah, I kind of like just killing... Vito's Inquisitor here, because, yeah, hold on, or I could just pass, like, I don't think it's, is it doing anything? Not, not really, it's not really doing anything, I can always bounce it if I have to. Um, I guess if I'm, do I care about taking, like, five damage, I guess would be the question. The answer is, like, maybe I care a little bit. Um, but I also hold up this counter spell. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna deal three to this thing while I have the opportunity. Um, I'm gonna grab this card, and I'm just gonna block with Oaken Siren here. If, they, if they're so kind as to let me do that. I think it's probably right to just kill their thing. I don't know, it's kind of close, because that does become like a little annoying. I'm just gonna block here, obviously. Block. You got it. You've traded off with my one, two. Mission accomplished. Okay, so I'm going to um, don't really care that much about that thing. Let's just do this. Discover three. See how we're feeling. How we're living, you know, how we're breathing. Oh, yeah, I hit another one. LOL. <laughs> we're going off. Um, do I want to cast this or do I put this in my hand? I think I want to... Well, what's this do? Um, <laughs> I'm going to attack with the boat, obviously. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Did I cast an artifact this turn? I didn't. Right, I'll just play it. Get in their boat. Oh, next. Nice. Dude, this, this is like messing up my mouse and stuff. I don't love that. Damage. I'm just gonna play a land and pass, I think. Um, yeah. Alright, you can go to my hand. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, I forgot that I don't have. Do I have? I don't have the audio of the game in here. I have like just nothing. So I'll just take four here. I think. 
I don't really care that much. What does this do? Nothing for now. <laughs> uh, decline to have that be in play, I think. I would rather you not have that in play. But this is a good thing to have access to. <laughs> um, I'm just going to smash with the boat again. I'm just going to block the Screaming Phantom, I think, likely. Let's do this. Menace, play a land. Wow, this boat is actually cracked. Holy boat, dude. Um. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Bounce their thing. Just play the Nautilus. I'll just pass here. Oof. Wait, I'm getting through my deck here. I am getting down to the to the last. Uh, last legs of it, huh? Alright, they have seven mana. This is confirmed. Confirmed seven mana. Um, be advised. I'm just gonna block. I'm gonna just block real quick. blocking time. I don't really want to do this, there's just no reason. Oh. What? Oh, do I have lethal? Let's find out. One of these things pirates. This, this is not quite lethal. No, this is lethal. What do they have here? You've caused me and blasted me. That is not going to do it. Alright. Game one in the books. I played, like, the slowest person ever of all time, but, you know, the deck, very functional. The boat, that boat! Oh my god. <laughs> it was going off. I didn't, I didn't realize you could play more than one card per turn off of the boat. <laughs> that thing is wild. <laughs> You just like ever crew it, you just win the game because you get to cast like, three different things. Now my opponent also did basically nothing, which, you know, that's black white. That's what it does. Doesn't do anything ever. Instant queued. We've queued instantly. I didn't feel like super, super like pressured to be. Oh no, do I have to keep this hand? I don't think I can keep this hand. Um, it's a little too slow on the draw, I think. So the problem is, like, what am I doing, right? I can play Sunfire Torch on one, and I need to draw an island for this hand to be functional, and I just don't think that that's something I can afford. I will keep this hand, though, and put back the... Do I, just ever... Do I ever put back second island? Is that crazy? Maybe I just put back the blunder or the puzzle. I'll just put back the... Well, just put back the blunder, because I have a Tali's favor. I can go Malcolm into a Tali's favor, which is really good. So let's do that. Let's do that. I am on the draw, so it is a little slow, but let's do this. And we can just hold up Malcolm on two. And then I can go oh no, it's blue red. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The mirrors have already started. It's our it's it's we're two games in and we're already at the blue red mirror. Oh god. <laughs> this is do I think this is kind of what week one's going to look like? Yeah, I, I kind of think that that's maybe a little bit how week one's going to look like, but that's, you know, that's okay. That is okay. Because it's still a new format. Surely my opponent won't be able to blow me out when I go... Well, I mean, if they hold up mana, I just won't go at Tali's favor. I'll just play a Plundering Pirate, and that's fine. Um, I don't think they're likely to be holding up mana here. Like, counter spells really don't 
this is actually going to hurt a little bit. I'm not going to deny that the feelings that I'm about to experience are going to be painful. But think about this. I can go Malcolm into Tali's favor. Or I could just play Plundering Pirate. Hmm. Plundering Pirate makes a treasure. What if I high rolled, though? You ever think about what if I high rolled? You ever think about what if I did well, you know? Oh, fuck. <laughs> the dangers of discovering. Um, Island can go here. So, we do have a problem. What is the problem? Um, well, my opponent has a lot more tempo on board. The, another problem is that the wandering, like the pirate thing, isn't this isn't that bad because they just tapped out Malcolm. This isn't that bad? I still take five. But now I can just go plundering pirate plus. I guess in this case, oak and siren, and then have a bunch of board presents. I could have held the Dreadmaw's Ire up here, but I don't think that's very good because I'm at 10 life. This is a very this is a very classic like being on the draw is bad situation. Um like my opponent is just very far ahead of me in lots of aspects of this game. Like they have more cards, they have more mana. Um the board state, I would say that I'm ahead but not by like an enormous amount. It's possible I should have just shipped the puzzle door at the start of this and kept the the bounce because I was on the draw. There's something to be said about that. It's that may be that may actually have been pretty wrong. The thing is, I was hoping that at some point I would have time to puzzle door. Format may just be too fast. It may just be too fast for me to be expecting to puzzle door. Um, ever at any point, so you never really know. Time pickaxe. Yeah, that's not great. Does this get menace? I forget. No, it just gets plus one plus one. Still bad. Still very bad. Um, it's gonna go on the pirates here. Do I have to double block? I do not. But oh well. Now I'm doing this. I think this is only move. I don't really have any other moves here. Why did I block like this instead of the other way? I don't know. The other way is not like considerably better. I guess, I guess the reason I blocked this way is I'd rather kill the Hotfoot Gnome than the crewmate. Like, if they have this in their hand, like, it's better to just, like, make sure the Hotfoot, like, they, yeah, exactly, like, they keep that around. And I get to blow up my puzzle door. My diesel door. I might just be dead. I'm not just, I'm not just dead, but, I mean, I kind of am. Kind of am. So I can. Oh, I can't actually destroy the pickaxe because it is just as indestructible. Noted. Three head. Five head plays. Ah, uh, let's go iceberg here. Um. Iceberg. Oh no. Oh, the boat. No, the boat's too slow here. I'm pretty dead. Pretty dead. To anything at all. I can't even do the yeah. I think I'm I think I'm just kind of dead here actually because I I can't even because if I I can, this is only attacking creatures so it only works on attacking creatures. An unfortunate game too. It is going to happen sometimes. Yeah, uh, had to mulligan and you know that's that's how it goes right. You do have to mulligan sometimes and those games you're not likely to win or not as likely to win, I guess. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Um, <laughs> so game one was just an absolute beating. Game two, I played against Blue Red and got absolutely smoked. Which, again, not an enormous surprise. Blue Red is, I think, going to be great. Especially early when people don't know um, what cards are good. I don't even know what cards are good, which is why I'm trying so many out. You gotta you gotta play the cards. You gotta play as many one ofs as possible early in the format to accrue seventeen lands data on them. That's the that's the real that's the huge brain thinking, you know what I mean? Oh, this hand's not bad. So we have Nautilus into a call per call. Nautilus is great because uh oh, I'm dead. They have a one drop. 
I'm dead. They have a thing that's good against my stuff. Red black, huh? Oh, that's fine. You can, you can, I can lose my mountain. That's okay. Goodbye, mountain. Say it ain't so. At least the Nautilus blocks this like insanely well. So if they use a trick here, how bad is it? It's pretty bad, but they didn't, so that's nice. I am just gonna jam this guy. I don't think they're blocking. It could theoretically happen, but I just don't think it's happening. Spencer, you should play your stuff like after combat. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm aware. They do have joined the dead, unfortunate. I do hate to see that. Um, but now, I'm just kind of sitting there. Um, and I'm just going to play Tolly's Favor, I guess. And we'll figure it out what we get. Okay, Puzzle Door. So we'll take a look on their turn here, what I want to get with the Puzzle Door. Um, I don't feel super, super like ahead or anything. Okay, if they descended this turn, I discard a card because I don't need any of my cards. They did not descend, so I'll take one of my cards in my deck here. Um, I guess I'll take Captain Storm. We can go. Oh, that is Death Touch. Rude. Actually, is pretty rude. I mean, yeah, I think we're just going to do this. Uh, make this a uh, 4 3. And go no attacks. Because, as unfortunate as it is, oh, they're, they're descending over there. They're doing some, they're getting descending. Getting prepared to descend. Uh, okay, what? Speaking of each end step, just your end step. So they can block with the lava tongue on this, and then they take three. Do I get better attacks as a result? Not really. They're setting up to descend though, and it's pretty bad for me. Wow, they're just they're just all in, huh? They are just all in on the descending. Yep, we're just gonna keep uh, doing the no attacks. Hypothetically, I could like return something to their hand. I don't know, or my hand. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty good for them. Hit a mic, mic, mic quite as well. Uh, what do I have to return to their hand? Oh, I guess they didn't want to. I am going to return something. Probably just the skull taker here so I can map token up. Let's return this. Map token. This goes on probably you. I don't know. Can't do anything here, so we're just gonna wait. Actually, it only has a source. I forgot this is only sorcery speed activation. It's interesting. It's notable. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. So who gets to explore? So I want... Ha, so this gets... This makes a pirate into a... 6-4 and then I can explore to make it even larger. So let's explore on... You, I guess. Hit for a bunch. Or I can explore on this, make it a 3-6. 
potentially, or I just draw a land. Let's explore on this. It's going into the yard, I think. I can go like this. Alright, as you can see, things have developed. I had to pause while people were talking to me. Um, it's not looking great here. We haven't uh, drawn very well. My opponent has drawn better. I don't really feel like I can win this game, but... You know, here we are. I'm just going to pass, I think. Don't have much of a choice. Can't really kill them. As it stands, I should have I, I miss I should have put a counter another counter on the plundering pirate, and then I would have been able to eat their thing. But they're all in on the descending stuff. I don't I don't know why they did that. To be honest with you, do this. So I think I want to put it on the I mean because I'm killing the stalker. I think this is what I have to do here, unfortunately. I don't have that much of an option. Kill this thing and die because I've drawn another land and I'm dead. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was an unfortunate game. Um, did you hate to see it? <laughs> makes me want. Makes me wonder if I need to change some stuff about my deck. But the problem is, like, what would I change? What would I add? I don't know. Just gonna keep running it. Um, do one more. See how we feel. See if things go well. Look, this is why we're not on the main account, right? The, the this is the reason we have the the alternative accounts. We have the alt accounts to make sure that you know things like day one, me being bad at the game, don't uh, don't cause any issues. Um. Saw what happened when my deck was rolling in that game one, but since then it's been real tough. It's been tough sledding. Possibly I'm running too many lands as well. I feel like I've drawn my cards in like a pretty bad order though. These games. TBH. I haven't drawn a lot of my cheap stuff at the right time. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how stuff goes here. We'll see how this game progresses. Obviously, this is a keep. Um, opponent Mulligan, so we're off to a good start there. I am on the draw with no turn two, like no two drop. I have a two mana play, but not a two drop. Blue Mirror. That's unfortunate, because they have a good tutor up. Oh, they have the thing that I have. So we're gonna go Iceberg here. Draw a card, a Braid. Oh, a Braid's not so bad. I mean, the problem is they have this, which is gonna just kill me. A matter of like, one turn, because it's really good. Um, what do we do now? I think we're just gonna play the Plundering Pirate. Not really a whole lot of other options. Um, they are going to get to draw a card, obviously. Vault, I have Vault. Tithing Blade. So hold on, I'm just going to... I'm going to do this. 
this because I do not want to lose my 3 2. Um, so there's Tithing Blade, it's there. There it is. Um, unfortunately, they get to draw a card now. Um, probably just gonna go Diamond Tom Tom. Oh, they put an explore creature in the bin. Oh, I get to make my own thing now. Hold on. Dueling, uh, dueling engines here. So let's do that. Let's go this plus Sunfire Torch and pass. What do they have up? So they have this cave up. I'm not super. I did it. Doesn't really do anything. Um, attacks, obviously. I don't grab all of them, obviously. The, the illusion of choice in many ways. Runaway boulder in the trash, okay. It's gonna be tough to kill this Culper Call, I'm not gonna deny it. Probably gonna find an artifact here, which is not good for me, but tease what it is. Found Malcolm, okay. Malcolm not doing it. Really? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. So I can kill their Call Call, but they didn't have any artifacts that turn, which makes me not really want to do that. I kind of want to kill Malcolm in the middle here. A lot of options this turn. Uh, so there's Sahili's Lattice. Discarding probably just the land. But the problem is if I don't draw a land, I'm like pretty unhappy with that decision. attacks in, it blows up with the torch that kills Malcolm. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. So let's equip one. We just do this. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's go Dynamiton, Plundering Pirate, equip it for one, attack with it, blow up in this and kill Malcolm. And then they have to block their two things, but it's fine because kill the crewmate. It's still okay. Like I'm still trading like one for one or whatever, but I'm I'm still getting back like um still getting back something. Um, it's not the best. I don't know. That may not have been the best turn ever. So this can craft with artifact. I do have an artifact. I have a couple of artifacts in my graveyard, and it's fine. The craft is only as a sorcerer, unfortunately, so I can't like hold it up and whatnot. Oh, the boat's here. Boat's here. Boat of Braid, I think, is pretty dang good. Um, especially if I attack. Yeah, I'll just go boat, I think. See how this goes. Oh, okay. Or I just don't have to think about it, because... Does this flip into... So there's stuff to explore. Okay. No attacks. We just go. Boat hold up a braid, I think. Oh, it's each player's in step. I didn't know that. I put an artifact in the graveyard. Uh, this one came off my hand. the resolve all tick thing. This is a bug, I presume. Cavernous Moss. There's a second cave. Two colorless lands. Noted. Yep, okay. It did make a map token, which is unfortunate. So they can now attack me. I'm not super thrilled about, but they get a craft here? Um... I think I need to kill this now, actually. Because they can explore to. Uh, cancels the explore trigger, yeah, so that's actually what I wanted to do, I think. It's not the best upgrade I've ever seen, but it's also fine. I could do this. This is interesting. Oh, this is actually an interesting line. I could. 
create a map token, play the Dynatomaton. Attack with the belligerent. It's pretty good to me. Alternatively, I could just go River Herald Scout plus Atali's favor. If this misses, that's probably better. Uh, don't want this in the graveyard. Um, probably yes. I guess I can get it for free off of Atali's favor and it's a 3-3. Three, three. Tough call. Do I want a 3-3? Three, three. Probably want a 3-3. Three, three. Actually, getting in there with the boat Go like this, and I can in turn. So I am once again like running out of deck here, but we should now be able to get in with a bunch of stuff. Oh, that thing. Okay. I don't really... What are they going to bounce here? This? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a deal, yeah. It's allowed. Yep. So probably going to just go... So I can just attack with the boat first. So I'm going to do that. So it's in the box. They're probably gonna block. Um, we'll just do this. Bounce the River Herald Scout. Do some damage. That I land to draw land here. I can go Tolly's favor next turn. I think I would rather just see Healy's lattice, genuinely. Well, it's unclear. I cast an artifact this turn? No, I will we'll see Healy's lattice then. Oh, nice, okay. I'd like to have this in my hand, though. I, I know it's going to come into my hand. Okay, so I only have seven cards left on my deck, so that is a thing that I need to keep in mind. I need to monitor that. Certainly something to monitor. So I need to keep that in mind. Um, so it's kind of just a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I think this is fine. So the boat is going to be attacking next turn. I need to t make sure that I don't deck myself accidentally, because it is a concern. I'm going to counter that for sure. I was just going to craft. I don't care if they do that. Very confused why they're playing around my like counter spell or whatever, but I guess I'm happy for them. Um, I am going to do some stuff. I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna go. This potentially counter.
counter spell up, which is nice. I think I'm just going to be down with these blocks, to be honest. Um, so I take five, six. I could make them take an additional six. That's them to three. That's probably good, huh? They have the Nautilus to come down next turn. I think I can live with that. them for like a billion and then kill their thing. Then I just pass here, I think. Get them into my hand. It's going to be tough for them to kill me, and it's going to be tough for them to survive because I have three flyers coming out next turn. Okay, Chupacabra Echo, yep, it's pretty large and in charge, in many ways. Okay, still currently dead. Still dead. So... Okay, get these going here. I do have something that could just be the one land. I don't actually know has like target ability and stuff. So do I have enough for just like lethal here? Presumably yes. Can I block the boat. Comes back. I don't know. Confused. There's confusion happening. Just off it. <laughs> Figured it out. Alright, I'm gonna pause this and come back a little bit later, perhaps. I don't know, I'm just being very boring, so. <laughs> there is that. Alright, I'm back. I uh, took a little bit of a break and I'm now returning, so generally when I do that, it means I'm going to lose. Um, so be advised that, that that's probably what's gonna be happening uh, here. But. If I don't lose, and if I win, that's great. So this blue red deck, you know, how has it been performing so far? It's been fine. You know, I've had you know some, and we've already run into one issue. And early in the format, you flood more than late in the format. At least I do personally. Um, I tend to flood out a lot more early in the format because I don't play the good cards, and as a result of not playing the good cards, the uh, the games take a little bit longer. 
Um, so that does happen more. This hand is terrible, but I am going to keep it on the draw. It's not the best thing I've ever, oh, that's actually a good draw. Because now I can play this on two. And then I can do this, and then maybe I even discover something. Okay, that card is an enormous problem. Um, all right, so now what? <laughs> that card is a problem. Yeah, that's that's really freaking good, actually, it turns out. I think I'm just going to Atali's favor and pray that I hit something decent here. We'll see. Maybe I'll hit an artifact. It's not unlikely that I hit an artifact. Oh, I did. Oh, I'd, oh, baby, I did. So now I can attack. Question is, do I, actually, they can, they can just make it so that my thing can't block, so I might as well attack, right? And then the next turn I can bounce this if I want. Because it'll be tapped, and then I can make another thing so that I I get to attack more. Um, this this being a... Uh, yeah, because I can, I can bounce this now, and then... Other stuff. Waterwind Scout was like literally the best hit in my deck. Off of that. Okay, we'll probably just go. I don't know. There's no world where I play a second red source this turn, right? So. We can do that. A lot of options. A lot of options. Puzzle Door allows me to attack. There's this. When they discover, discover again for the same thing. Um. This could be a problem, but I am, I think I'm just gonna go brackish blunder, well, this is tough actually. So I can hit for six this turn and I'm going to, I kind of want to bounce this. It's a result of kind of wanting to bounce that, because... Like, if I want to bounce this 3-3, three, three, I... Uh, it's so bad. It's so bad if they get to use the Discover ability. Now let's play this blue. Um, I think we're just going to do this. Bounce this one. Play the puzzle door. Have this explore. I want this in the yard. It's kind of nice on top, honestly. I'm way ahead here. So this is interesting. I don't know how good it is. Oh, well, see, this is why I'm glad I bounced that thing now, because now I can just blow up their artifact. Guaranteed blow up their artifact. They're about to take a billion, potentially. Um, I can't actually attack with the Shipwreck Sentry right now, unfortunately, so I guess I'll do this. I guess I could do this first, even. I guess I'd rather do this, huh? Well, if I had a non-land, it's pretty bad, but... Is this lethal? It's not lethal, but it, like, threatens lethal. So I can draw, play it... Attack for seven. I need to blow up that thing. I'm just going to put this in the graveyard. I should not have done it like this. Just do that. I've, I didn't play this turn perfectly. Let's let's be person like we be one hundred percent honest about it. I did not play it perfectly. I uh, wasn't great, even some might say. 
Um, is a braid just lethal? I can blow up their pirate. It's not just lethal because I gained attack with my thing. It could be lethal like next turn. I'll take a braid, I guess. So then, I'm just gonna pass here, I think. And I have a braid plus a counter spell up, and I should be able to kill them potentially. Well, not kill them, but um, uh, draw a card, move a link card in your hand to the battlefield. If you put a cave under the battlefield, this way you gain four life. Yeah, you can gain four if you have a cave. They probably do have a cave. I'm happy to just confound and riddle to find something. Sure. So I should do this first, huh? I don't know if attacking me, I know that. Should be able to find uh, an artifact here a lot, high percentage of the time. Not good enough. Give me a braid. This thing. And they're dead. Okay. And they're dead. All right, we won a game. We did it. We succeeded. We didn't didn't have a losing record with the first deck. We could have a, a neutral uh, neutral record, but we have we have at least made it past the, the floor of where I'm like the the, the difference between going uh, two wins and three wins is a significant you know EV difference right because of you know get 700 gems it's the biggest jump other than I think 750 is bigger than yeah yeah it's bigger than 600 duh mathematics keep this not the best hand I've ever seen but has a water wind scout in it, so that's good. So I'm just gonna go lattice here, discarding land. Um, yeah, again, not the fastest hand I've ever seen, but certainly not bad by any means. Iceberg, sure. Sure. Speaking of icebergs, I'm just gonna jam the water wind scout. You could pirate. Um, I think I'm somewhat likely to play. Oh, you know what? I probably should have played the pirate because I do have issues with. Oh well, no. Just gonna make the sacrifice my thing. Sure. Sure. That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not a bad turn, huh? Um. Yeah. I think we're just doing this, and then we're gonna explore with my guy here. Or I could iceberg even. That's actually not bad. I lose, I lose a mana long term? What am I doing next turn? Tolly's favor plus something. This versus explore. Am I doing anything for six next turn? Probably not. Yeah, I think, I think I'm okay with just going iceberg. Because... I don't know, it'll draw me a card off the explore right now, and so... Next turn, I pretty much just like want to be a Tully's favoring, no matter what. I guess I guess you know what I probably should have explored while they were tapped out. It's like a thing to think about. I don't care about that card at all. Let's do this. So then I can know what I'm going to hit off of Vitaly's favor, technically. Do I want to hit this off of Vitaly's favor? Get another explore trigger. Get another creature. Not especially, but it's, it's better or worse than my average card. So it gives me another scry. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll react here. Do this, do this. Explore with this one. That one can 
go in the yard. Dun 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 dun. I don't know, I'm not in love with this. I guess I'm making a 6-6 six, six next turn. With the, uh, the Ice Burge. Opponent has officially uh, drawn a card. That's unfortunate. I don't love to see that. Okay, cool. <laughs> not my mountain. I think we're just pretty much always making an Ice Burge here. I'm going to do a post-combat, obviously, because if there's some shenanigans, I would like to be able to... So I can kill all their stuff here. Alternatively, I could just make a 6-6 six, six and kill their 2-5. Um, which I think is probably better. Not crafted yet. Um, this one. Craft me. Time to get crafty. Well, I just regret immediately regret doing this because they have okay, they have the bitter triumph. So it's not great, but and it's actually pretty bad if they craft, right? Because I mean they can't do it from their graveyard, so they'd have to use a thing. Yeah. Problem is I wasn't blowing up any artifact. Ooh, that's that's nice. Oh, they keep drawing. Opponent is a gaming enthusiast. Just gonna attack, huh? See what happens. Do I have to blow up the iceberg now? It's going to be tough to beat the Iceberg when they craft it. But they do have to craft the other thing. I think I would rather just wait. Just go Hermetic Nautilus here. I may, I may just never have a chance. Let's be real about, about our chances here, but... I don't even remember what this crafts into. What does it craft into? It crafts into a vehicle. They're just going to mill here. They're going to make a guy. Sacrificing Tithing Blade. Solve that. You made a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, this ain't so bad. So this just turns into a vehicle. And that's fine. I'm probably just gonna go. Do I want a confounding riddle now, or do I want a confounding riddle on their turn? It's pretty unlikely they have anything. I mean, they have the hidden necropolis to discover, I guess. I think. I'm down to just trade this for the Titan. Yeah. I'm just gonna pass. Hypothetically, they could tap up for something enormous, and I don't have enough mana to do anything, so. Um, it's pretty unlikely that. Descended this turn, don't love that. Uh, they can not pay this, but I th think I'm okay. Okay, do I want to just let this go? I'm just going to let this go. You can kill my 2-3, I think. I think that's fine. I, know, I do take a bunch of damage. I'm just going to do this. I, I kind of like need something that actually does stuff. Uh, I'll take the Brackish Blunder, but it's not good. I should actually not have even taken this, because it doesn't do anything. Gross. 
Ooh, I don't even know what I can do now. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty difficult to win this game. Yeah. I do hate losing to like bad cards day one or whatever. Like it's, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna be, a lot of it's my own fault, right? I think I'm running too many lands in this deck. Made a vehicle. He did it. Time for it to be my turn and for me to draw nothing and lose. All right, that is nothing and I'm losing. You got me, opponent. You got me. I'm off it. You got. I'm technically alive there, but it's not. It's not worth it. It's not worth continuing. Um. So yeah, that's the first deck, I guess. Not not especially inspiring, but uh, well, I'm gonna keep trying some stuff, and we'll see see if I can't improve. Uh, next time.